your girl is back. Back. After three vlogs, I'm certain you guys were just like, really though, girl, you know you owe us a cooking video. I know, and I'm back with it. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to the channel, what's going on? I'm glad you stumbled upon my channel. You've just joined the Throwdown Lover Squad. You just you just don't know it yet until you make this recipe or the other ones. You can of course get to check out that playlist where I have a ton of other recipes that you can get to of course figure out which one you want to indulge in. Anyway, as the title states, which is simply this, how to make a tasty smashed potato and shredded chicken. I don't want to talk too much, I just want to say this is one of those meals that's packed with protein and it is great for hitting those goals. And you can always alternate and change maybe from the potato to rice to pasta, whichever one you want. I just want to show you how to combine the two and how simple and easy it is to make this so delicious. No long talk, let's get to it. You're going to need some potatoes which I've just washed right now. You can use the other potatoes as well, the ones you can find at the kiosk, which are um, Irish potatoes. You don't have to stick to these um, potatoes that I'm using. And then you're going to be needing one uh, kg of chicken breast, some titties. That's what you're going to be needing. And I'm going to be showing you how simple and easy it is to manage to shred this chicken. So we have our pot right over here. We're just gonna add in our potatoes. Then we're going to proceed to add in our water. It's piping hot as you can see. And you're just gonna make sure the water covers the potatoes and then we're just gonna put this on the stove. Before we proceed to add um, the potatoes onto the stove, we are just going to add in our chicken. It's nice and clean, we don't have to cut it. Just place it in there and we're gonna be boiling it for 15 minutes. We're just gonna place our potatoes as well and we're just gonna let them boil until they get tender. Now to make sure that I don't overcook the chicken, I've just gone ahead to time myself for 15 minutes. Now while everything is boiling, I'm gonna go ahead to preheat my oven and I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping up the vegetables of what I'm gonna need to use to make the sauce. Now, if there's one thing that I've learned over time is to always take out the membrane of um, my peppers. I do it and it's something that I've learned over time. Anyway, we're using one whole onion that's already, um, I've sliced it. You can of course dice it if you want as well. And then we're also going to be using one green pepper, um, which we're going to slice thinly. And we're gonna be using three tomatoes that I've gone ahead to peel, but that's completely optional. A lot of people always ask me, girl, why do you peel your tomatoes? It's just a thing that I grew up with. Like, my mother has had a huge influence on how I cook, like most people would say. And as a result, she always used to peel, she always peels her tomatoes. So I go ahead and do the same thing to my tomatoes already peeled it's completely optional I just don't like seeing the skin in the in the stew like when it shrivels up I'm not a fan but anyway let's check on this chicken it's been 15 minutes we're just gonna drain our water from the chicken alternatively you can use the water as chicken stock for your sauce just gonna go ahead and run some cold water in here in order to stop the chicken from cooking and then we can begin to shred Shredding chicken is so easy. All you need to do is just have two forks. That's it. And then you're just gonna spend some time just pulling it away, just like so. Potatoes are ready. We're just gonna make sure we can just pierce through. Yep, perfection. So we're gonna drain out this water and then I'm gonna lay them out on a baking tray. We're spatula right here and we're just gonna go ahead and flatten them. Start 
things off by drizzling some olive oil onto all of these potatoes. You can use vegetable oil as well, sunflower oil, avocado oil, whichever oil you have, you can go ahead and do that, use that. So I'm just drizzling just a bit, not going too crazy. The ones that are not completely open, you kind of do want it to be open. So I'm just opening this up a bit more. The next thing I'm gonna do is sprinkle some salt. So I'm just using coarse sea salt actually on top of these. And I'm not going too crazy because I know how salty they are because they literally will like dissolve into your uh, potato so well. After that, I'm gonna be sprinkling just a hint of black pepper on, to on top of them. Just a hint. And then lastly, I'm just gonna hit some of them with just like a hint of thyme. And this is dried thyme actually, just to give them a little bit more flavoring. Then, Place them at the highest top part. Our pan nice and hot. We're gonna drizzle in some olive oil in here. The heat is on high, and we just want the onions to, of course, get softer. By the usual, I usually add in a pinch of salt. Just gonna stir this in. I'm going to squeeze in, or rather, mince one garlic clove. And now I'm going to turn down the heat, actually, to medium. Turn down the heat to like medium high. We just want the garlic to fragrance for about five seconds. Add in our tomatoes. Stir them around. To our tomatoes, we're gonna sprinkle in some black pepper, about half a teaspoon. We're going to add in our cumin. I'd say three quarter teaspoon as well. We're going to salt the tomatoes. And then we're going to add in rounded rosemary. Just sprinkle that in. And we're gonna add in a splash of water, about a quarter cup. So the tomatoes can cook, we're gonna turn up the heat. Be adding in some paprika. Right before the tomatoes begin to cook. That's about three quarter teaspoon of paprika as well. Another thing that's super essential is adding in garlic, and this is about one tablespoon. It's been about a minute and a half. The heat was on medium low, so we're turning it down completely to low. As you can see, the tomatoes have officially cooked. I'm just mashing them in order to get smoother. Results. It smells heavenly. This is the part where I usually love, I get to taste and adjust. Oh my god. Oh my god. Add in one huge hipping spoon, tablespoon of tomato paste and quarter cup of water as we stir this in. Oh, it smells so good. I'm just gonna add in more water in order to help thin out this tomato paste. Continuously stirring it in. Add in the rest of the water. Oh, smells so good. Now, if you have fresh rosemary, you could easily have used fresh rosemary as well. I don't have any fresh rosemary, and this recipe really loves rosemary. So, now that we've stirred this in, it's on low heat. We're gonna taste again to see if we need to add more salt. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm gonna add in our green peppers. And add in a pinch of salt. Let's stir it in. I'm gonna add in some more garlic powder. Just gonna let this stir in.
I love garlic in my food. And like I said, you can choose to add whatever you prefer. If you don't like a lot of garlic, you don't have to do that. Oh my God. It's like perfection. Now that our sauce is at where we want it to be at, we're just gonna add in all that chicken. Now remember, you've already par cooked this chicken, so you don't wanna overcook it. What you need to do is just make sure you've coated the shredded chicken well in the sauce. And it just needs to get warm and you're gonna be ready to serve. This is one of those meals you can make in an hour. Oh wow, it smells so good. I'm gonna leave it here for like 45 seconds to just get warm or like a minute. Remember, everything at this point has been on low heat. I did not turn up the heat at any point, so we're just gonna leave it to get hot. Time for my most favorite part. It's time to serve. Whew. These potatoes look so good. I'm just about to serve, however, I would like to share a couple of things. I cooked these potatoes in a 180 degree oven and I put them at the complete top, at the broiler part. And literally, I just let them cook um, slowly for about five minutes. Of course it's slow. For about five minutes, I kept opening the door to check to see once they start browning. Then I turned down the heat to like 130 so that they can still keep getting crispy as much as, you know, they're still underneath there so that they don't burn. It's time for me to play, and to be honest with you, this is one of those meals you can make in an hour. Literally, including the prep too. It's not that hard. You can do it with Bay. you can do it with your girls, you can do it with your family. It's literally one of my favorite simple and easy meals to enjoy. And now I'm about to start plating. ready to dig in. I do want to say before I dig in, because I'm about to wrap up and leave you guys as I finish eating my food, I do want to ask you, have you ever felt like you want to ask me anything? This is your chance to do that in this video because I'm going to be doing another ask me anything because a lot of you seem to have questions that I have yet to answer and I have no qualms answering most of them. So go ahead and leave um, a question below of um, anything that you've been dying to ask me. Leave your questions below, I'm about to dig in and I do have to say thank you so much for keeping up with me until the end of this episode um, of this throwdown. And also you can uh, suggest to me what I should cook next. I already have a list of 10 things that I have yet to make for you guys that you keep requesting. So trust you me, I'm on top of things. Go ahead and like this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet. For those of you who have not turned on the notification bell, what you doing with your life? You could be eating this good with me. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. Until the next episode, I'm going to keep eating. Bye, guys. <laughs>